Good morning, everyone. We're going to be getting started, so if you guys want to find a seat. Thank you so much for being here this morning to kick off National Travel and Tourism Week. I want to thank Mayor Villalobos for being here this morning, City Manager Roy Rodriguez for being here with us, Assistant City Manager Mr. Joe Vera, our Commissioner Sebi Haddad is here as well. Thank you to our city department directors that are here, Danny Maline with Parks, Liz Suarez with the airport, Yehida Flores of the Convention Center who will be speaking here today, and of course our uh, interim CEO, Blanca Cardenas, is here with us today as well. For those of you that aren't familiar, every year the U.S. Travel Association hosts the National Travel and Tourism Week campaign throughout cities all across the nation. This year, we wanted to make sure that McAllen was able to participate in a really fun and innovative way. This week, Visit McAllen, in partnership with the city of McAllen, is hosting a destination celebration for the city, highlighting McAllen as a premier destination for tourists and visitors alike. While the campaign runs from May 1st through the 7th, today is our official kickoff that serves as the introduction to some really great things that we've got going on throughout the week. For a little bit of a rundown, tomorrow from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., we will be hosting a destination celebration pop-up party at the McAllen Food Truck Park, featuring live music, games, giveaways, staycation and event ticket raffles, as well as free treats and eats for the first 100 guests. On Thursday afternoon, we'll be hosting a mixer at the McAllen International Airport, honoring 70 years of a McAllen tradition known as Border Buttermilk where we will also be discussing this year's National Travel and Tourism Week theme of the future of travel. Throughout the week, we'll also be hosting a social media contest, engaging with the local community as well as past visitors to our city. I invite all of you to take part in this week's destination celebration, and to officially kick the week off, I'd like to call up Mayor Villalobos to declare the official proclamation. Good morning, everybody. And it's nice to see uh, the usual faces and love the fact that we have our, our key players uh, when it comes in regards to tourism, our hotels, of course, performing arts center, uh, our area. It, it's beautiful to see all of you guys here. <clears throat> you know, in McAllen, we welcome visitors, and not just from, from around the world, from Mexico, uh, we love our winter Texans, from throughout the world. And I know that McAllen, as a champion of countless small businesses and employees that benefit from the travel industry right here in McAllen, I am proud to be part of the celebration for the National Travel and Tourist Week, which this year is May the 1st through the 7th. Established in 1983, this week celebrates the value travel holds for our economy, business, and community. The past two years have been difficult, but the future looks pretty, pretty bright. The future where travel is once again the heartbeat of communities and businesses, where traveling from one place to another is faster, seamless, and safer. I want to thank the McAllen Convention and Visitors Bureau, who works diligently to promote McAllen across the country, Mexico, and Canada. Thanks to their dedication, passion, and professionalism, we have tourists from around the globe who have enjoyed all that our great city has to offer. And now, it's a long one. Okay. A proclamation of the city of McAllen. Whereas the future of travel will be a constant driver of McAllen's economy and workforce, a robust travel industry provides significant economic benefits for the nation, generating more than $2.6 trillion in economic output prior to the pandemic, with $1.2 trillion spent directly by travelers in the United States. Travel has been the foundation of a healthy workforce, serving as one of the largest private sector employers in the United States, supporting 17 million jobs prior to the pandemic. Promoting McAllen as a premier destination for travelers is more important than ever as we recover from steep losses. The future of travel is connecting McAllen with the global community and safely and securely welcoming back international travelers to our city. The travel industry cannot recover without the full return of in-person meetings and events by both domestic and international visitors. 
The rebound of travel will drive the rebuilding of the United States economy and American workforce. Since prior to the pandemic, 60% of leisure and hospitality employment was small business. The future of travel will prioritize, diversify, equity and, and inclusion initiatives, powering a future that values all cultures, embraces new perspectives, and reflects the faces and ideas of the full American society. The future of travel will foster a faster recovery, create a more sustainable, seamless, and secure travel experience, and rebuild McAllen's workforce, driving us toward a more prosperous future. Now, therefore, I, Javier Villalobos, mayor of the city of McAllen, by virtue of the authority vested in me, and on behalf of myself and the city commission, do hereby proclaim the week of May the 1st through the 7th as National Travel and Tourism Week. <clears throat> I don't know who this was presented to. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Next, I'd like to welcome up our city manager, Roy Rodriguez, to talk a little bit about the economic impact of tourism on the city of McAllen. Good morning. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> what a beautiful day again here in McAllen. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for being here, Commissioner Haddad, and all of you uh, that are here to, uh, to hear what we're talking about today. So, I know a place that develops relationships with its partner agencies for the positive development of the entire community. I know that for the city of McAllen, working with the team at Visit McAllen has helped to establish our community as a prime destination for visitors. Whether it be business or leisure, I know McAllen knows how to roll out the red carpet for all of our visitors. As per a March 22nd of this year economic impact analysis by the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, and we have a representative here, raise your hand. Um, the Data and Information Center, uh, System Center, which is the DISC of the 2021 hotel industry here in the city of McAllen. The McAllen hotel industry impacts the region's economy through revenues generated by the hotel industry and spending by the visitors who stay at hotels in McAllen. They come here for business, meetings, events, arts, concerts, Thank you, Haida. Shopping, travel, graduations, and other special events throughout the year. The city of McAllen has developed a series of exceptional experiences that is quickly getting us national recognition. Quality programs are what differentiates McAllen from other communities in the Rio Grande Valley and across the country. The economic impact analysis spending is bro broken down from hotel industry re revenue and visitor spending. So let's look at this hotel uh, industry revenue. As per the study, revenue generated by the hotel industry in year 2021 saw an increase of 49.8% compared to 2020, a total of $99.7 million in revenue was generated. The revenue of the city of McAllen's hotel industry will support the creation of 1,378 jobs, generate $33.7 million in labor income, add $74.7 million to the Texas gross domestic product, and create $13 million in state and local taxes for a total economic output of $146.5 million to the region here in McAllen. You can applaud. It's a big number. <laughs> big number. The visitors who come to McAllen and stay at the hotel will spend money on transportation, food, shopping, entertainment, and miscellaneous items. DISC estimates that visitors spent $289 million in McAllen region during their visit. Here in McAllen, the hotel tax paid by visitors has helped to build facilities that further develop the amenities our city has to offer, including this beautiful facility, the McAllen Convention Center, the one across the street, 
the McAllen Performing Arts Center, and so much more. In fact, we just returned from a trip uh, from uh, Guadalajara to ensure that we continue the momentum that we've created through the years and get more visitors here. Thank you, Liz, for setting that up. It was a wonderful experience, a lot of activity. Lori, Daniela, Jorge, uh, you all had a, a great visit and, and did an outstanding job. Thank you. This has been a great year and we look forward to working with my colleagues and partners to make the industry stronger and more innovative than it has ever been. I am proud to support this incredible industry by celebrating National Travel and Tourism Week. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Undoubtedly, a major draw of tourism here in McAllen is our annual festivals and events. To talk a little bit about how tourism and the future of it relates to our events, I'd like to welcome Yohara Flores to speak about and say a few words. Thank you. Buenos dias, good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. It is my honor to speak today at today's press conference about the impact that arts and entertainment uh, brings to travel, tourism, and to our economy. The arts and entertainment industry was among the hardest hit in the pandemic. Uh, having a complete shutdown of all of our public events, our meetings, and our mass gatherings. Today, I am proud to announce that the McAllen Convention Center and the McAllen Performing Arts Center has a 16% increase in ticket sales over 2019, which was our record-breaking year. Uh, thank you. 35% of our attendees travel over 50 miles to attend our public events. They stay at our hotels, they eat at our restaurants, they shop at our wonderful shopping uh, locations, and our attendees contribute to millions of hotel revenue and visitor spending. This increase accounts for over $70 million in economic impact to our local region, supporting the creation of over 500 jobs. The increase in numbers doesn't just happen by luck. In the midst of a global pandemic, our city of McAllen leaders, our city management team, our city commission, our, our mayor, had the foresight to continue quality of life programming in a safe and social distanced way. Uh, while most cities were furloughing their public assembly staff and their event staff, our city leaders recognized the role that cultural facilities like this one and events bring to the city of McAllen. The city of McAllen supported virtual contactless um, events that supported the quality of life and the mental well-being of our residents. The city of McAllen also created reimagined events for families to enjoy safely and together, um, like the South Pole Illuminated Drive, which was a contactless experience that had over 170 visitors. Because of this, our public venues have led the way in public assembly venue re nationwide recovery. We have been the model that other cities are now following to ensure that recovery and to ensure that visitors come to their city. In addition to this, our venues had also served as alternate care facilities. When hospitals were at critical capacity in 2020, this convention center served as an acute care COVID unit, and subsequently in 2021, then converted the space into a vaccine clinic, administering over 25,287 vaccines to city residents and visitors. The city special event team was committed to bringing people back together again, and not just for events, um, but for any other alternate use that we, we could do. Due to the nature of our business, our buildings and workforce are accustomed to bring people together. We are designed for patron queuing and crowd management. Our experience organizing events and managing crowd put us in the unique position to be the best prepared and most qualified industry to support this vaccination effort. We were able to rebound quickly uh, because of the efforts our leadership team and because of all of our city departments have worked together to make the city a destination city uh, for all arts, culture, and festival. Today, we report a very positive increase due to the efforts of our leadership team, our city management, our city commission, and our community. 
Last week, we announced the second run of Dinos and Dragons, and this weekend, we had over 15,000 attendees. These attendees are not just coming from McAllen. They're coming from different cities all over South, Tex South Texas to come to these special events, and that's what uh, helps also stimulate our economy, bringing money in from out of town and having people stay at our hotels, eat at our restaurants, shop here, and inject uh, our economy. In the next few weeks, we'll be announcing our new Broadway season, our new symphony dates, and we have a special announcement which will be the longest running event in the history of the Convention Center District. Stay tuned for more information as we unveil our programming that contributes to making the city of McAllen the fantastic destination it is. Thank you. Thank you, Yehida. Finally, to talk about the future of our hospitality industry as it relates to growing that workforce and providing opportunity, I'd like to invite Dr. A.J. Singh, Professor and Founding Director of the Hospitality and Tourism Management Program at UTRGV. Well, thank you so much for the invitation, and it's so nice to see these smiling faces after a long time. You know, we couldn't see what was happening behind the masks, right? So now I carry my mask, but I'm not so nervous when I walk into a building and I don't have to put it on. So, so really nice to see everybody. So my name is AJ Singh. I'm the director, founding director of the hospitality and tourism management program at UTRGV. Uh, my wife and I moved from uh, Michigan in 2019, just before the pandemic, and people said, you know, great time to start a program. And then, of course, 2020 hit. So we started enrolling students, and so students said, travel and tourism, is anybody traveling? I mean, why should we enroll in this program? And I said, you know, this is the best time to be in the program because the next four years, you're gonna be with us in a safe environment, and guess what, by the time you graduate, the industry is gonna come back. And I guess I didn't have to do any economic analysis to do that, and we've got, we've got lots of jobs. So really now, the, just listening to all the stats, I was, had some stats here, but I'm not gonna read those stats because we can see we're clearly on our way to recovery, and now we have a reverse problem. I'm getting calls from people saying, hey, we need people, we need interns, we need full-time people. So really now the industry's coming back. Uh, and so, you know, I used to have a hard time always explaining what is the travel and tourism industry. You know, because, you know, we know what manufacturing is. You know, there's a factory where something's produced, right? And then it's distributed. But what is travel and tourism? I mean, we're all part of it, but, you know, there's no way to really say what exactly it is. And the pandemic, I guess, did us a little favor by stopping travel. Now, suddenly, people know what travel and tourism is. You know, we saw what happened, you know, in 2020, the numbers compared to 2019, you know, the... GDP percentage in 2019 uh, for tourism was almost 3%, went down to like 1%. Uh, you know, the, the uh, total re uh, sales output for, for travel and tourism in 2019 was, was uh, almost $2 trillion, went down to half. I mean, we saw all that, and now it's sort of coming back. But behind that, what is really the engine that drives? Of course, we've got beautiful structures like this, but essentially, we're part of the experience and, and service economy. And for that, we need people. And so people, to us, is our number one asset. And of course, the Valley has uh, wonderful CTE programs, you know, at the high school level. Uh, they've got STC with good vocational program. But what was really missing was a business-based degree at an institution of higher education such as UTRGV. So UTRGV created in, in 2019 the first business-based hospitality and tourism management program. And so because the industry is so big, uh, we had to launch the program with some concentration. So we really got four different concentrations within our, within our program. So we've got those who want to get into the lodging ownership, asset management, operations side of the business. So we've got in the U.S. 55,000 hotels, almost 5 million uh, hotel rooms. So we need, we need managers to run those places, whether it's sales managers or accountants or HR or GMs, uh, and of course, you know, professional uh, skill staff. Then we've got the food and beverage side. So people who want to start restaurants. I mean, we've been here three years now, and we've seen so many people who've left the valley, learn, come back, and they want to start their own business. We're part of the 
college of business which focuses on entrepreneurship. So we want to create restaurant entrepreneurs. So we've got a food and beverage component. You know, there's almost uh, in, in uh, the US, I was looking at some stats, $800 billion in sales of food and beverage. So think about all the restaurants that are out there, that are there where you can work, but you can also start. Then there's the whole events type. You know, you hire us part of that. And just the corporate, just the corporate planning, I was looking at a number, is basically 95 billion. That doesn't even take into account the social side. So just the corporate market is, is that big in the US. So huge opportunities for destination management, event management. And then we've got a fourth concentration in healthcare hospitality. You know, healthcare is a $4 trillion industry. And what's happening in healthcare is because of Medicare payments, um, they're looking to have folks who can provide that patient care experience. So we're trying to create a program, a concentration, where people can actually work in hospitals, but really on the patient care side, creating that experience for them. So, so that's a little bit about our program. Um, essentially, you know, um, you know we, we went through a, a tremendous downturn. We're coming back. And essentially now, you know, just as reading, uh, you know, the worst is behind us. You know, travel across the board, as you heard from the numbers, is rebounding. Uh, employment is growing. We're a more efficient business. I mean, I started in this business in 1978 and been through a variety of different crises. In 2009, when we had the economic crisis, basically, um, travel is down 4%. And with the last one, it was down 75%. So think about, you know, the impact. But we always come out stronger. We, the industry is very resilient. You know, we are more efficient, uh, you know, in this particular case, more cleaner uh, and, and, and uh, you know, more excited with more technology and things like that. So I'm just going to close uh, by saying in 2020, you know, we introduced to a new phrase called social distancing. You guys remember that, social distancing? Okay. Where hugs and handshakes were replaced by fist bumps and masks. So this week, let's continue to reignite travel and celebrate and socialize safely by becoming a tourist in your own town. So find something interesting, find a nice place, find a taqueria, a restaurant that you want to go to, and spread the word. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Singh. As we move forward to celebrate our city this week and highlight the future of travel and tourism, I want to take a few minutes first to talk about where we stand at present. As you all are aware and as you've heard this morning, the last two years were extremely challenging for this industry. For the, however, McAllen remained resilient and despite the challenges, our industry partners performed exceptionally. Throughout 2020 and 2021, McAllen continuously had one of the highest hotel occupancies in the nation. We would get calls every few months or so from our, our travel researchers asking, what's going on in McAllen? What's happening there? Because we were truly an anomaly in our city. There are a few different things that contributed to our high hotel occupancy numbers, in part due to our geography, the pandemic, and a few other factors. But even when some of those contributing factors faded, McAllen continued to exceed expectations and surpass pre-pandemic numbers. This past December, researchers were calling us again. For that month, McAllen was the only destination in the top 10 nationally that wasn't a beach or a ski resort destination. We use our hotels as a, measure, as a measure of healthy tourist economy, and I'm happy to report that numbers continue to be record-breaking, and in 2021, McAllen had the highest hotel occupancy the city has ever had at 75%. <laughs> Our conferences, conventions, annual events, sports tournaments, winter Texans, government groups, Mexico Leisure, and corporate, they're all responsible for the makeup of our diverse tourist population. And to commemorate our appreci appreciation for all these groups and our locals, we want to unveil a new interactive activation that will be present at all of our events this week. Through our I Know A Place City campaign, we have been able to showcase McAllen in an authentic way, inviting visitors to get to know McAllen the way our locals do. This mural, which represents McAllen through the eyes of both our locals and visitors, will be painted throughout the week at our events by attendees and community members. 
At the end of National Travel and Tourism Week, the mural will be completed, and the finished project will be housed at a special McAllen location. Feel free to grab a paintbrush to start it off, and again, we invite you to explore McAllen like a tourist and come out to our events this week to experience a true destination celebration. Thank you so much.